All right, welcome back to CT Style. Al Capone is perhaps the most notorious gangster ever in American history. A lot has been written about him. But what do we really know about the man? The book, Capone, His Life, Legacy, and Legend, aims to set us straight. National Book Award winning author Deidre Baer wrote it and joins us now. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you. This is a fascinating character. <laughs> now, you write that you were actually approached by family members to write the book. So why did you decide to do it? I just was so intrigued by the idea that all of these people were coming to me and saying, you know, I'm in my 80s and I know the truth and I want to tell you the real story. And so that was the start of it. But then came a young man who said, you know, the myth in my family has always been that one of my father's brothers was the illegitimate son of Al Capone, and I'd really like to know the truth of that story. <laughs> With Al, there's so many, many books have been written about Al Capone, yes. movies made about yes. Al Capone. What makes yours even more fascinating? Well, I had the cooperation of the family, and I have all the stories that the family members, these are the old people who were there in Al Capone's lifetime and the generations that came after him. So I have, um, I have more real new information than previous writers. Well, let's talk about his life, his legacy, and his legend. He truly is an, an enigma is what, how you describe yes. this man. Yes. And so what kind of um, myths did you dispel? Oh my goodness, there were so many, how can I start? Well, there was the one about how he used to go to New York and sneak anonymously on ocean liners and go to play golf in Scotland. <laughs> or uh, he slept here, uh, he ate here, uh, he traveled there. Uh, so many of those stories just simply are not true. And so uh, I was able to retrace uh, his steps and find out a lot about what he actually did. He was obviously a very violent man. He yes. had a lot of people killed, but he actually never really killed anybody. Well, that was the thing about him. He delegated murder <laughs> and mayhem. And, and the most fa one of the most fascinating things I found was the Harvard Business School makes a case study of how Al Capone ran the Chicago outfit. And so you can see that this is an entrepreneur. Many people would say if he had lived 20 or 30 years later, he could have been the CEO of a major corporation. <laughs> well, let's share the softer side of him. He yeah. was a very caring family man. He was. He absolutely adored his wife. But that didn't keep him from having many mistresses on the side. He had a wandering eye. And a wandering eye. They had one child. Uh, he adored the son, who was called Sonny, actually. Sonny had four daughters. And they are now uh, older women. And uh, I had the, the honor of speaking to them. And uh, so, you know, then there was this big Italian extended family, an Italian-American extended family. And they were all very close. And uh, they adored him. They loved him. And he loved every one of them. Well, the book, again, is Capone, His Life, Legacy, and Legend. And you're heading out to Chicago next week. Oh, I am. And I've got a full week of uh, promoting the book, which is uh, very nice. I'm happy about that. Deidre Bear, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you.